In my last live stream, I shared five nice girl habits that destroy a man's attraction for you and actually cause him to lose interest. And that video got such a huge response. I got so many requests for another live stream on that topic, specifically to go a little deeper into some of the mindsets or attitudes that can sort of be programmed in us, usually from early childhood, and they get reinforced as adults. They actually drive us to fall into some of those habits. The first thing I wanna say before getting into some of these attitudes, I have eight attitudes I'm gonna share here today, is this is not about changing who you are or pretending to be someone you're not. In my last video with another coach, Clayton Olson, we talked about how the opposite of being nice is actually being kind. The way we're talking about it here, it's not about being rude or bitchy or just having walls up. So when you start to deeply value and respect yourself, you actually have access to more of these kind, generous parts of yourself, but they're coming from a place where you're not trying to make something happen or get the love you want because deep down you don't feel strong and secure and you're not loving yourself on the inside. So I hope that makes sense. You know, if you were to ask my husband what his favorite thing is about me, without hesitation, he always says it's how kind and sensitive I am and how I have a huge heart. So again, this isn't about being bitchy or having an attitude of entitlement or anything like that. It's about valuing yourself so you can attract someone who deeply respects and values you too. So I'm just going to jump right in. The first attitude that will cause a man to lose attraction or maybe take you for granted is I'm not enough as I am. And we all have this, I think to a certain degree, I can certainly relate to all of these myself. I actually got a comment on one of my other videos the other day from someone who said, it feels like I'm never good enough. So I settle for less. And a lot of people responded and could relate to that. I get comments like that on some of my videos all the time. And that causes you to attract men or partners. This one could work for both men and women who actually reinforce that belief, who make you feel like, you're just not that good enough. There's always something preventing them from putting both feet in and prioritizing you or committing to the relationship you want. And I'll get a little more specific as we get into some of these other attitudes here. Number two is anything that sounds like rationalizing bad or neglectful treatment. Nice girls have a habit of just giving a guy way, way, way too much benefit of the doubt. Women who are drawn to this work, especially, I see this all the time in the comment sections of some of my videos. They're giving a guy way too much benefit of the doubt. They're making excuses for him. They're buying into the excuses he is making, why he can't prioritize her or why he's not ready for a relationship or he can't commit. And you really want to start to turn this around. Now, of course, if a guy is really prioritizing you and he's been consistent and you've been dating him for a while or you're in a relationship and he gets sick or has to work late. That's not really what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about rationalizing the behavior of a man who's consistently not showing up for you or making excuses. So that's number two, the attitude of just tolerating or rationalizing neglectful or poor treatment. Number three is what can I do to get this guy to like me or prioritize me or choose me over this other woman or want a relationship or commit to me? You just won't be saying that with the right person. Women who just truly value and respect themselves deep down don't have this attitude of how can I prove myself to this guy or get him to like me or get him to commit to the kind of relationship that I want. So that's number three, very important. Number four is something I haven't talked about too much before, and that is maybe that's asking for too much, or maybe I'm asking for too much. These nice girls have a habit of getting involved with men who kind of manage down their expectations, and they get so hooked on these guys that they'll sort of take them however they can get them, right? And so a guy who's calling and texting and moving things forward and making you a priority, that's not asking for too much. Those are just the basics. I posted a quote on it was either Instagram or Facebook the other day. It was something like being loved is the minimum. Make sure you're also being valued and cherished and prioritized or something like that. And I got a comment there from someone who said, well, maybe somewhere in the middle is fine. And to me, somewhere in the middle of being loved and being not loved or being valued and being not valued would not be enough for me, right? I want to be loved. I want to be valued 
and prioritize. Just like, you know, I want to do that for the person I'm in a relationship with. And I think most women in my community have huge hearts and they just tend to give and give and give. It's like they're taking all of their love and just throwing it down this bottomless pit often towards a man who's not doing the same for her, not even close. So if you tend to go into this attitude of, well, maybe that's asking for too much. Maybe I should just settle for this. You want to catch that one right away. Number five is I have to do something or show up a certain way other than myself in order to be loved. So if you have this attitude or mindset going on, it's going to drive you to try to prove yourself to a man or win him over. It can be easy to put a man on a pedestal when you're falling into some of these attitudes. And when you do that, that actually pushes him away on a very deep subconscious level. Even if he likes you and even if he's attracted to you at the beginning, if you are just constantly trying to do things to get that love you want from him, you think you're just being nice and cool and understanding, but it actually decreases your perceived value in a man's eyes and his attraction for you. So that's number five. I have to do something or show up a certain way in order to get the love I want. It's just simply not true. Men fall in love for who you are, not what you do or give to them. It's really important. So number six is I'm okay not being a priority. I hear this a lot. This is one that was sort of programmed in me, I think, as a young child. So I had to undo pretty much all of these in order to have an amazing relationship. So it's basically you're kind of lying to yourself or deluding yourself into thinking this is enough for me when it's really not. If you're attached to a man who's not showing up consistently for you, maybe he's breadcrumbing you or constantly pulling away every time you get too close, or there's just always something preventing him from putting both feet in and committing to that relationship you want. If you are really attached to him, you can start to tell yourself like, maybe this is okay. This is enough for me. I, I'm all right. Not being a top priority in a guy's life. So make sure you're not lying to yourself here. It's really important. Everyone deserves to be a priority. If you're committing yourself to a committed relationship, men and women, right? So Number seven is something I haven't talked about too much before. It's very subtle, but it's this attitude of he's better than me. I actually heard someone in my life who's very close to me say this the other day. They actually said the words, he's better than me. She was describing a guy who she's been dating for a while who's really being a terrible partner to her. He might be a good person, but you know his partnership skills are just not there. He's maybe not into her enough to really prioritize her. And she was describing everything that was going on, and then she ended the sentence with, but he's better than me. So there's this tendency to just automatically feel less than a man you have strong feelings for. You know, I don't know where this comes from. It's probably different for everybody, but just catch that. I don't believe anyone's better than anyone, right? We're all inherently valuable, but just catch that mindset or attitude of feeling like the guy you have strong feelings for is on some level above you because it's just simply not true. And again, it's not about putting yourself above him. It's just realizing that you are inherently valuable too. You deserve to have the kind of relationship you want, especially if you're showing up with an open heart and you know being kind and open and generous, which again, most women in my community are that way. And they are taking all their love and just kind of throwing it out towards a man who's not doing the same for her. So that brings me to number eight. And that is maybe this is the best I can do. Maybe I should settle for this, or maybe that's all that's out there. And again, some of these guys that you can get attached to sort of manage down your expectations. And they either flat out tell you that they're not ready for a relationship, or often it's where with their behavior, they start breadcrumbing you. And so you start just hanging on and waiting for those crumbs to be thrown your way. And again, if you're really strongly attached, to a guy like that, you can start to say, maybe I should settle for this. And I think that if you're here and you're listening to this and you're in that situation, you really want more for yourself. So you can get my free gift, three keys to attract the man you want. That's a report and audio training on my website, helenaheartcoaching.com. That's in the description right below this video. I hope this was helpful. Everyone, make sure you're following my podcast, Master Your Magnetism. That's where I'm spending most of my time these days. I'm uploading new episodes every couple of days right now. So make sure you're following me over there so you don't miss any of my new content that's not being posted anywhere else. Thank you so much. I love you all. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.